Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G and look how just incredible these Lion King ac action figures look. I'm so excited, I can barely speak. <laughs> so, man, do they look awesome. I'm so excited to show you just what this unboxing was like and we're gonna get started in just a moment. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below, hit the notification bell next to it to get notified every time we have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. And yeah, click that share button so you can share this video with everyone who you think would love it. So guys, what do you say we get started right now? So nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Okay, and here we are. Let's get started. And let's take a look to see who's in here. And, you know, it has them all in the back, but let's just take a quick little glance to see how they look from inside, uh, while they're inside the package from the outside. And look, this is such an awesome artwork right here. Of course, we have Simba, Pumbaa, Timon. This beautiful Lion King, you know, logo right here. It's got 10 pieces. And, man, look at that. Disney, the Lion King, see so the all new feature. now. This is still one of our all-time favorite Disney movies ever. Isn't it amazing? And look at this awesome suggested play right here. I'm just chilling on grass. Now, I don't think they're actually standing there. I think they just kind of did kind of like a Photoshop job in the back because it doesn't really look like he's standing on that rock either. But it does look pretty cool overall. There's Pride Rock. Here's where they held Simba up. And so, let's see what it says right here. It's not a whole lot, but it does say, Disney The Lion King, deluxe figure set. Love, responsibility, and knowing who you are reign as you take your place in the circle of life. Wow. Okay. So again, here's Mufasa. Now, they probably should have made him a little bit bigger than Simba because I get, you know, just watching the movie, he always seemed like obviously he was a cub when, when they were in the same scenes together. But I just get the impression that Mufasa still would have been way bigger than Simba. Zazu, of course. Scar. Nala. Pumba, Timon, Rafiki, young Nala, and young Simba. And so I just want to say this, you know, it would have been so awesome, just absolutely incredible if they would have used the same voices from the original movie. I know that James Earl Jones is going to be Mufasa because that's just iconic. So you can't replace iconic. But, I mean, wouldn't it be awesome if it was the same voices because Jeremy Irons, well, like, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember exactly who they cast, but... I don't think, obviously it was the same um, actors. So like for example, the actor that did Mr. Bean, what an amazing Zazu he was. And so of course we have Jeremy Irons and Matthew Broderick and uh, you know, just Nathan Lane, just these amazing actors. So anyway, let's get this bad boy open. Let's take one more glance from the outside and yeah, let's cut these bad boys out. So this is Just Play, look at that. It's Just Play logo, and of course, it's a Disney product, JustPlayProducts.com. And, yep, let's get this bad boy on open. There we are. And let's bust this good guy on open. Now, I'm trying not to just rip the package open, obviously. Making sure there's not some tape I missed. And, all right, let's see if we can slide this bad boy on out. Here we are. Man, look at that. All right, look how gorgeous this looks. And I like the way it looks with that background right there. You know, I don't know if it's attached or not. You know, it's not necessarily attached, but this is sealed over it, so it's not attached, but it does help it stay in there a little bit better. I was trying to take them out of that, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna cut them out. And of course, who do we wanna see? Simba. So let's cut Simba on out of here. And look at that. So set this aside so we can have all of our attention on Simba. Look how absolutely wonderful he looks. And so let's see. You know, this barely moves, but it's not 1000% stiff or anything. Let's see. 
His head does not turn. His legs do extend out, they extend back-ish. And look at that. You know, it feels like a nice solid build. Um, there's still a little bit of flexibility in there, but obviously it's not intended to, to necessarily pose it that way. But uh, let's see the tail. Oh, it does move. I was like, man, wouldn't that be awesome if the tail moved? So at least that, even if we can't turn it anywhere else, at least we can move it a little bit and have it showing during certain poses. We can have him like, you know, jumping out. So that's awesome. So yeah, overall it looks really cool. I'll get a close up right here of the face. It'd be cool if we could open the mouth. Obviously we can't necessarily, but it would be really, really cool. And then, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why I had to sneeze. <laughs> came out of nowhere look how great this looks so you know got a great sculpt got a great paint job solid colors look at that and it feels like a solid figure so that's awesome I'm really digging this figure right here so absolutely outstanding what do you say and let's move on to our next figure let's put our symbol right on over here of course and let's see who we got here Let's move on to, I mean, let's get real. <laughs> Timon has to be one of, if not our favorite character. So let's get him on out. Look at that. <laughs> Timon. And so, look, he's already ready to like start singing Hakuna Matata. And look, his arm is super flexible. He does not have any pose points. So that's important to keep in mind. Now, obviously he'll stand easily because he can lean back on his tail. But um, one of my favorite lines in the whole movie comes from the song Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata! And, uh, well, not that phrase. <laughs> my favorite phrase is probably when he goes, Why? Take Pumba here, for example. When he was a young warthog. And Pumba's like, When I was a young warthog! And he's like, Very nice, Pumba. And he's like, Oh, I can't bend his his into his, like, moving his squeaking <laughs> the bad sound out of his ear but um there's not a whole lot to show so i'm like i guess i'm not to move on but definitely glad to have a little timon figure be nice if we can at least move the arms up and down but unfortunately there's a whole not a whole lot to timon here so anyway it looks cool but he's basically just a little mini statuette so we'll have him right here what a wonderful phrase all right Let's get Pumba. Why not, right? And he doesn't have anything holding him in here. Let's just pull him on out. And here's Pumba. And yes! He does. Uh, his mouth does move. So you can look at that. Hakuna Matata! And he's a warthog, obviously. Let's see what sort of um, movement we can do. Man, he can move his leg pretty far back. Decent forward, obviously. You can be a pig, pig too. <laughs> so, um, when you look forward, the eyes look a little looking, <laughs> a little wild. But from the side, they look great. But from straight on, they look a little crazy. Look at his tusks. He looks awesome. I love his head moves like this. Let's see his tail. Does it turn at all? Uh, I don't think so. But otherwise, he looks great. Look at his little hooves right here. And I love the way he looks. Look at that. So, I'm still up in the air. Does that turn or does it not turn? <laughs> and it seems to just be bending. So, permanently got his head up. And look at that. So, don't forget Pumbaa means no worries. So, let's put him right on over here. He looks absolutely great. He's excited. Let's close his mouth a little bit. There we go. And... There we are. Okay, let's move on. Let's see who we got. Why don't we do... Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rafiki. Rafiki. It means you are a monkey and I am not. And so Rafiki looks really cool. It's got a great sculpt here. A little bit of paint, you know, unfortunately. That looks like it was brushed over into the hair. But overall, these are solid looking colors. Look at that deep red. Look at that. And so that looks absolutely outstanding. Again, 
You can't pose him. You can't move his arm. We could have, they could have at least given us that. Oh, and we got some brown paint bleeding over here. But the sculpt looks amazing. I just wish that we could do more. You know, move the arms, at least rotate this. Because, I mean, come on. Give us some sort of rotation. And as I'm saying that, I see adult Nala over here does not have any sort of, like, joints right here. So, anyway, I guess we'll be prepared. Whoa. <laughs> Why am I cracking up? Because that was not intended. Uh, so I was just like, get ready for the fact that she doesn't have that. I didn't mean to say the name of one of the songs in the movie. That was, believe it or not, by accident. So we'll take a look at, um, yeah, we have to look at Scar. He'll be next. But look at this Rafiki. He looks great. At least the sculpt and the paint do. I just wish he, we could pose him. So we're about to move closer and be prepared. Look at him. Scar. Let's get Scar on out of here. Look at that. And Scar, what's jiggling? I guess the late. Oh, look at that. Oh. Well, it doesn't move much, so. I wonder if. I guess you can pose him and it's still like. It's got a little bit of slash action. Doesn't say anywhere on here, doesn't have any instructions whatsoever. Doesn't say anything, so. That's how I was like, what's that sound? But you can already tell that something was up. And so, I mean, it's a cool feature. It doesn't look like it's working super, super amazing, but it is work, uh, it is working, I guess. Look at that. Long live Mufasa. And he tosses him over the cliff. <laughs> so, in any event, his legs do go pretty far back and you know, decent amount forward. The tail does spin, so that's a good thing. Um, mouth does not open and close, but it's got a pretty good sculpt and paint uh, job. I love the eyes, look at that. I think, I guess they could have done this eye a little bit, uh, just a little bit more out this way. But I guess we can customize that because the green doesn't come far out enough. But it's that Super Channel G green. And look at his tail. So overall, this figure looks good. So, you can pose these up, this one goes forward, so, let's see. I wonder if we can just push them both like that. So, it's pretty cool, and obviously the intent was neat, but it doesn't look like the execution actually came out. Wow! So look at that. I'm assuming you can see some of his, like, they did a little rib sculpt right there. That's pretty awesome, because I mean, obviously there's like a little bit of leg sculpt right here, a little bit where there's a hair, and you would assume because, you know, there they are starving again, him and the hyenas. So, that's a very subtle detail, because there's no way that's an accident, because there's not, like there's ribs inside this toy. But man, what a very, very subtle detail. Now obviously there's, right here would be the ligaments and the bones or whatever, <laughs> you know? Achilles tendon type deal, but um, such a subtle detail. I'm surprised we even noticed it. So yeah, he looks absolutely wild. And we'll put Mufasa in a second, but just to show you, obviously Simba does not have that. He's been eating well on worms because they're slimy yet satisfying. Okay, let's put him right there. Let's get Mufasa on out. We really want Zazu, but I'm like, you know what? We just did Scar, how can we not do Mufasa? I wonder if Mufasa, he does have some. But look, his legs travel a lot more. So that's awesome. I don't know why we would want this one to come down. I guess scratch down instead of scratch up. It's okay, that'll work. So again, the legs do go pretty far back. So that's awesome. You can have him kind of like, you know. And the tail does turn also. So that looks great. Had a pretty good head sculpt. You know, I feel like they should have made his mane maybe a little bit poofier. But overall, the color scheme, everything looks great. Um, look at that. Again, we can probably pose the legs a little bit. Oh, that one's too far forward. Because it needs to be like this far over here. There we go. We can also be like, <laughs> Okay, so. Let's see, how can we stand him up well? Gotta push this a little further far, uh, farther forward. 
Wait, what's going on here? It's going like weird. Oh, it's this one. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just trying to get this to go stand up well. There we go. Okay. So, pretty awesome. Look at that. Sorry, I had it off camera. I was looking at it right here. But it's pretty awesome. Look at that. It'd be nice if we could open them out so it would be like roaring. Kind of almost like Pumbaa here. So, look at that. Wow. Almost done. Oh, we still have four more characters. Actually. <laughs> okay. So let's do Zazu. Zazu actually, when I was young and I saw this movie, was super annoying to me. And as I got older, I'm like, I can really appreciate this character. He's funny, and the role he plays, obviously he's looking after the kids. All he's trying to do is look after them. And they think he's a stick in the mud, but he's obviously just looking to protect them. And uh, I can't think of his name right now, but Mr. Bean, who did his voice, did an outstanding, amazing job with him. He's absolutely one of my favorite characters from the amazing voice acting. And so, yeah, we can't pose him. It would be nice if we could at least move the wings. Look at that. If they move like that and like that, they don't. And maybe if the head turned and it doesn't, obviously it's just like really soft, like rubber, vinyl, whatever. And that would make this outstanding if we could at least go like that. Um, it could be like a like, look here. So, that's absolutely outstanding. So, we'll put Zazu right over here, next to the king. All right, cool. So next, uh, we have to get Nala. Of course we have to get Nala. And, um, you know, this is adult Nala. And this was, you know, this was a very major missed opportunity. I don't know what happened here, I guess glue. I guess we can kind of sand that down later or whatever this is. That's unfortunate. But that's not my concern. My concern is that why can't we move any of the arm? I'm sorry, the legs. Why would you do that? Why would you have all the other, you know, major four legged characters move their legs but not this one? Can't move the tail. Can't move anything. It's just a sculpt. Now the eyes look great. The face looks pretty good. Overall, the sculpt is good, but why would you not? It's heavier than all the other ones. It's like, watch this. Versus. This one bounces because it's empty and so on. Watch this. It's like, it's like, dun dun. this one's like, dun 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 dun. and this one. Oops, flipped over. So, anyway, it's tremendously heavier than this one because it's just that this one feels solid and some feels hollow. But uh, nonetheless, it does look good. Look at this. So, can you feel the love tonight? Uh, on everything but the sculpt, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, not the sculpt, the uh, articulation. So this figure actually probably should be coming this way. So we'll set her next to Simba right here. Look at that. Looks pretty good. We're just gonna have to space everybody else out. And that shouldn't be a problem. Let's space them out real quick before we move on. And that way we can have, you know, let's put Timon right here. Oop, he was scratching the back and that made a weird sound. <laughs> there we go, that's good enough. So, look at that. All right, cool. And then our last two, we have Simba. Ooh, and I just gotta pop them up. Now these, obviously I could see that don't have any articulation because they're little, but, but not a full-size figure when all the other full-size figures can pose their legs. But um, yeah, so let's look at Simba. Look how great he looks. Too bad we can't turn the head. That would at least be something. At least let me turn the head instead of him always facing that way. But yeah, either way, he looks cool. Definitely looks movie accurate. Don't know why he's got a little scratch right here. So the paint coming off. So he's got a little blemish. Can't turn the tail. Can't move anything, but he definitely has got a good sculpt. The 
paint could have been slightly different here, but anyway, overall, he looks pretty movie accurate. Pretty good job. And so right here, we have Nala again. Wow, it looks like they actually messed up on the mouth. The mouth looks like the line should be matched up here where we can see the actual indentation. And then again, someplace to sand right here. And look, the head looks like it was glued on too high because this should probably uh, be flush right here with the chin. Anyway, that's a minor detail. There's a scratch right here and you can't pose her. But overall, if it weren't for really that and that mouth line, look really good so if you'll notice look you see where Simba's almost traces right here where it comes out in his mouth I'm pretty sure she should, uh, she should be the same and that's a little unfortunate we're gonna have to paint over that and and us do it which is all right but again just unfortunate uh, overall all of these figures look absolutely fantastic let's put Timon over here let's put Rafiki turn him a little bit right there and let's put Nala and Simba right there so guys what do you think of this set I actually think it looks really really awesome you know what let's move Zazu right over here I think Zazu looks amazing and so we'll just move Mufasa over here and I think this set looks incredible I'm sure you guys agree so guys, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. Don't these action figures look incredible? And so if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below, guys. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah, hit that share button so you can share this video with everyone who you think would love it. So guys, again, thanks for watching Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.